Hello, my name is Jay. And for this video, I want to kind of continue from the first video, which was how to connect to Salesforce and query records using the simple Salesforce package, again, Salesforce API. So what I want to focus in this video is uh, showing you guys how to using the simple Salesforce API to create, update, and as well as delete records. Over here, I have my Microsoft Visual Studio. This is probably my, one of my favorite uh, integrated development environment. And we'll just call ID. And I also have my Salesforce open. So I was trying to uh, just do some testing. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to delete these two records later. But anyway, let's go to the ID. For some of you, you may use different development environments like uh, PyCharm or Notepads, but however you like, so and this will work. And let's go ahead and uh, just import the simple Salesforce uh, package. And I want to import the, sim the Salesforce class. And from here, we need to, uh, I want to create a couple variables. So one is the username. And password. And as well as uh, is sandbox variable. So indicate whether or not uh, if you're trying to access a standard or developer uh, Salesforce environment, then you want to uh, use zero. But if you're trying to access a sandbox environment or testing environment, then you want to use one for your sandbox variable. And token, so I'm going to copy paste my token. So if you don't know how to get your token, uh, I have a video that in my description below that you can uh, you can take a look. And it's a tutorial video that showing you how to get your security token, yeah, as well as the Salesforce instance. So that's your uh, Salesforce URL. So which is uh, the the na thirty five dot salesforce dot com should be and now we want to create a Salesforce uh, object. So we want to store the Salesforce login information as well as the connection. So first parameter will be the username and second will be password so security token oops the comma and instance URL so instance and some box. So basically, these are the five uh, login info that we need to be able to access Salesforce. Okay, now we have everything we need, so that's pretty much the setup. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to create a record using the simple Salesforce. So to begin, I want to create a dictionary. And I'm going to call this dictionary called uh, field info. So this is where you're going to populate the uh, field information that you want to populate when you create a new record. And always make sure that uh, you have the required field information populated as well. So for account, so in this case, I want to create a new record on the account object. And let me go to the account object. So if I create a new account, and you'll see that the only required field is the account name. So let me go back. And name will be, let's do my car account. And account number. So let's do additional uh, fields as well. So I'm going to, 
assign one, two, two, four, five, six to the account number. Yeah, maybe industry as well. So let's do energy for the industry. And maybe one more field. Let's do rating and hearts. So be rating will be hearts. To create a new record, first of all, you want to uh, init initiate the uh, Salesforce object. Which, um, there's a typo. The end of this there should be column. And then you want to insert a comma. Next, you want to uh, type in the account object API name that you want to create a new records upon. So I want to, if I want to create a new record on the account, then I'll just type in the account API name. And to create a new record, so I'll use the create action. Or if you want to do update, so you'll change create from, you'll change from create to update. And create. And then I want to just assign the field info in dash should be it. So if I run this, I'll get a message indicate that you no, know, if my record is created successfully, then under the success uh, value, I'm going to get two as well as I'm going to get a record IDs based on this record that I just created. Now, if we go back to Salesforce and under the account, you'll see that over here, my recent accounts list uh, has a my card account. Now, if we go in, just you know, double check on the information. We have the account number, industry, and rating, as well as the account name. Now, let's go ahead and create uh, one more record. But for this time, I want to create a new record on the opportunity object. And I believe that with the new simple Salesforce package, uh, I've seen that they changed the, they, will, they fixed the, the time format. So before you need to use the TZ time format, but now you can just type in, now you can just assign the, the, the date directly. So let me just try it. So fill in for, yeah. So let's do uh, so required fields will be uh, opportunity Toyota. Let's do Honda. It's easier to pronounce. And then we need the, the close dates. Let's do today's date. So 2018 and March 4th. So before you have to use the TZ uh, format, which means that you need to assign the uh, the time zone as well as the time with, like this. But now I think I can just directly uh, uh, type in the dates. So we'll give it a try. And one more required field will be the stage name. So stage name, and it will be prospect. Again, so the Salesforce uh, option name and the option API name that you want to create a record on, security, and create, and fill in, fill in for uh, available. If I just run these, oops, oh, there's a typo, sorry. So we create. You can see that once we execute, uh, uh, these uh, lamp codes and if successfully then I'm going to get a record ID as well as uh, for the success uh, value I'm going to get two so let me go to the opportunity object and here's the uh, new opportunity record that we just created but um, here's the close date and stage and the opportunity name okay and that's for the creation of a new record in Salesforce. What happens if you want to create records sequentially or hierarchically, meaning that let's say you create account records, and after account records, you want to create uh, opportunity records, but you want to assign the account to the opportunity to the records that you are going to create. So to do that, and let's do a step by step. So first I will create the account record and create account record. And I'm going to populate the, the, 
the field info. So I need the name. I'm going to uh, assign the account name as XYZ Auto. And account number, actually, you can roll me the account number. Let's do industry. So assign industry and transportation and rating one. Okay. And we're going to create accounts variable. So we're going to assign the account uh, information like record ID uh, status. So for info. They want to create the create, um, accounts ID variable. So this will store the accounts record ID. Okay. Next, so once we create the account, they want to create the opportunity. So create opportunity record and fill info. To name and let's call this XYZ. Uh, let's do OPP XYZ auto. And we need close date. So choose uh, 2018. Let's do 2018 May. May 1st. Let's do May 1st as the close date and stage name. analysis so dif a different uh, stage name for the opportunity and so here we want to uh, assign the account ID to the uh, to the lookout field on the opportunity object so account ID and that should be it so Again, uh, the Salesforce object and up, uh, Salesforce object API name, so opportunity. We want to create and so we want to populate the, the field info dictionary information. Okay, now if I just run um, this lab code, so opportunity, yeah, okay. And I do get the opportunity ID uh, back. So here's the opportunity ID. Now, if I go into Salesforce and just refresh the page, so opportunity XYZ auto. Now if I go in there and so I get the stage name is uh, needs analysis and open opportunity XYZ auto. And here's the account. And now next, we want to do an update. So to do an update, uh, basically we just take the record ID. And so to update a record, so uh, you basically do the same and maintain the Salesforce object API name. Instead of create, then we'll use the uh, update action. And we'll have two parameters. The first parameter will be the uh, record ID. And let's say I want to uh, change the close date. So to from, from the opportunity that we just created. And it's still uh, May 1st, 2018. Let's say I want to change the close date to, actually it will be a dictionary. I want to change the close date to uh, let's do 2018 and June first. Close day and want to change the stage from uh, needs analysis and to close one. So close one. And so this for the update. Oops, I forgot the uh, clear bracket. Uh, if I just you now if we just run this and you're going to get a response code uh, for 204. So 204 means that the status is returned as uh, existing records updated. So that's what I mean. So if you get 204, that means you're good to go.
So this rack has been updated. Now let's go back to Salesforce. And uh, let me just refresh this page. So over here, uh, the stage change from needs analysis to close one. And the stage, the close day from May to June. So that's for update. And last, for delete. So you will do basically the same, but except that you will change from update to delete. And you want to get the record ID. Let's do record ID. And if you want to uh, delete, okay. so this will delete the uh, opportunity record ID. But if you want to delete the accounts uh, record, so delete. And let me just go into Salesforce. Let me describe accounts. Yeah, so if I want to delete uh, CCC auto account, so I'll grab the record ID and go in here. And if I, if I just run uh, these two lines of code, 204, 204, and go back to Salesforce, refresh the page, you'll see that. Uh, the accounts and this opportunity records are both get the are both get deleted. So that's for the deleting uh, action. This is pretty much uh, if someone to go over in this video today. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any question or any comment suggestion, please feel free to send me an email. I'll leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. Thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.